Well, I'm a couple days late on this, but I really want to talk about this brand new trailer that we have gotten from Hollywood. Of course, this is from the new Francis Ford Coppola film. I am talking about Megalopolis, a movie that Francis Ford Coppola has been trying to make for like 40 years, a movie that at some point seemed like could never happen. It seemed like a pipe dream, but finally today, Francis Ford Coppola has been able to make this film largely because he sold half of his winery to get the funds to make this hundred million dollar film. And now we have a trailer for this movie. It's out now. We get to see a little glimpse of it. And this is a movie I have a lot to say about before I even talk about the trailer. First off, Francis Ford Coppola. Everybody knows he is one of the most legendary directors in Hollywood. You cannot tell the story of Hollywood without mentioning the work of Francis Ford Coppola through his work. Through his work on films like The Godfather and The Godfather Part 2. Of course, you have Apocalypse Now. You have films like The Conversation, which are very, very underrated. Francis Ford Coppola has made some of the best movies that Hollywood has ever seen. The only issue is it's been quite some time since he made those films. Over the last 25 years, Coppola has had a lot more misses than he has had slam dunks. So many misses that I I am very skeptical of this movie. But in outwardly saying my, you know, skepticism of this film because of his recent track record, I am also willing to acknowledge that this is a film that he has dreamt about and has been working on almost half his freaking life. And because of that, there is an expectation that this could potentially, possibly be a film that could stand alongside the Godfather films and stand alongside Apocalypse Now and be another classic from a God-tier director. Maybe. Maybe that's what we're getting. But let's get to the trailer. Megalopolis is a film about this dystopian future in which the city of New York was destroyed in some sort of apocalyptic event. And this designer, or this architect played by Adam Driver is trying to rebuild the city in his particular image, in an image that he sees. And there's gonna be a lot of different conflicting wants and needs about how to rebuild the city, how to rebuild society. And that's all we really know about it. Now there was a screenplay of this film that leaked online like 20 years ago, a very old version of the screenplay. So if you want like spoiler details, you can go check that out. I'm sure there's some stuff in that script that have, has been very much changed over the years and some stuff that's probably gonna be similar, but you can get a pretty good idea of what this film's gonna be like by watching or reading through that. But on the offset, this is gonna be a very large political thriller that throws in some sci-fi elements, some conflicts, some big visual apocalyptic type stuff, and it's just going to be a huge drama. Now this film has an incredible cast. Of course, you have Adam Driver leading the project who just seems to be on a roll when it comes to getting cast in these legendary directors who haven't made a great movie in a long time type movies. You know, look at Ferrari with Michael Mann. Shia LaBeouf is in this movie as well, playing a character that just looks in incredible. I, I, I think he's playing like a transvestite, but I might be wrong on that. But the images that we've gotten, I can't wait to see what Shia LaBeouf does in this film because he's just amazing. Giancarlo Esposito's here. Anything he touches is great. John Voight, Dustin Hoffman. I think Aubrey Plaza might be in this. It's just got a phenomenal cast. This trailer, and we've gotten two. We got one little teaser that really just showed a little scene of the movie of Adam Driver standing on top of this skyscraper, and it seems like he's able to, like, stop time or something. I don't know, but it looked cool. It looked really cool. And now we've gotten a big teaser that is just really a visual display of everything we can expect from this movie. We see a bunch of crazy shit, a bunch of just fast paced, you know, different edits and cuts into different scenes into the world. And it gives us kind of a broad idea of what the film is just going to look and feel like. And overall, this is a very strong trailer. This is a very exciting trailer and a movie that I have such high hopes for. I am so skeptical of this film for a, no a number of reasons. First off, this film is already screened at some places, and overall, I've heard the screenings have been positive, but the film still doesn't have a distributor. And I feel like if this movie was a legendary film that is already screened, some distributor a distributor would have jumped onto this already, and it hasn't happened. So because of that, we, we don't really know when this is even coming out. And yet again, it's just because Francis Ford Coppola, he has not put out a great movie in a very, very long time. That could be for a number of different reasons, but God, God, what it would mean for Hollywood if this movie succeeds. Because can you imagine, like, in Apocalypse Now meets The Godfather, like, co combining those movies and what makes both of them great and setting it in this sci-fi dystopian world that has come organically from the mind of Francis Ford Coppola, this original story in this original world, that could be so freaking sick. It would be so unbelievable. Because Coppola understands how to tell epic stories, obviously, in the films that he has made. He is very, very good at telling scale, scaled stories, stories that have very, very 
wide scopes, but are at the end of the day character studies that are deep, deep character studies. You give us classic characters like Michael Corleone, and he gets the audience to really invest themselves not only in the characters, but the world around them, just how they both kind of intertwine together to create these epic sort of films. And I just hope this is the same. I hope Adam Driver is going to be this incredible character that we that we talk about for years and years and years. I hope this world is going to be something that we want to keep diving back into, not in spinoffs or sequels, but just going back and rewatching this. And I hope this is kind of like that legacy piece, that cherry on top of a career, of a life. That's the video, guys. It's a little bit of a short one. I just really wanted to talk about this film. Let me know what you guys think about it down below. Make sure to like this video, subscribe for more, turn on notifications. See you guys in the next one.